Hello, grammarians. Hello, David. Hello, Paige. So today we're going to talk about apostrophes and plurals. And we talked about this a little bit in our introduction to the apostrophe video. This is a very, very rare case where we use an apostrophe to show that something is plural, and it almost never happens, but we will explain when it does. Paige, when is the one time in this immense and wonderful galaxy of English when the stars align for it to be permissible to uh, pluralize something with an apostrophe? That one time is when you are pluralizing a lowercase letter. So if you're saying something like, you need to remember to always dot your I's, where you're talking about the letter I, and there are several of them. You're going to put an apostrophe before the S. Okay, and that's to prevent it from looking like is, right? Because if we didn't have that apostrophe in there, it would just, like, be the word is. There's no way to tell I's from the word is in that case. Right, and you need to remember to always dot your is doesn't make any sense. Right. So, right, so this apostrophe can look like it's making the letter I possessive, but it's really just there to make it clear that this is plural I and not is. So this is the only case. Uh, if it were uppercase letters, you wouldn't do this, right? So if you were saying, you know, David's capital A's look like trees, it's less likely that you're going to confuse capital A lowercase s in the middle of a sentence for the word as. Right, because you wouldn't just capitalize the word as in the middle of a sentence. Right. Mm. So this is for only lowercase letters. So the little ones, the inside voice. <laughs> I mean, but that's like, Paige, that's it, right? Like yeah. that's the only exception. That's the only time you use apostrophes to form the plural. No other time. Uh, so if you're talking about, doesn't matter, if you're talking about like CDs or DVDs or mp3s or whatever you kids are listening to these days like it doesn't it doesn't matter there's no need for an apostrophe in any of these places right because that's just, pretty clear you just use a lowercase s but if you're trying to talk about multiple lowercase letters then you use an apostrophe yeah so if you're trying to figure out how to make something plural and you're like do i use an apostrophe no unless it's a lowercase letter you can learn anything. David out. Page out.